And now it's time for something seriously unimportant with your hosts, Anthony, Harley, Jimmy, and Carter. What up, everyone? I flipped it off first. Let's bit. do Hello. this. Aww. Why are you stealing my shit? <laughs> I always alternate. Um, so, uh, Bridget, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. What how did, are what, you? What did you do with Anthony? I took the day off. Oh, shit. Where is he? I set him over there. Well, yeah. I'm in the VIP section. Damn, yeah. look, uh, An- Anthony's over there with... Who's this guy? He on brought a guest. The fucking man. Oh, this is Anthony's shit. dad. It's David <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so today on the show, we have my cousin, Bridget, and we got... Uh, my friend David St. James over there on the couch. How you doing today, buddy? I've never been better in my life. How about you Good guys? Good shit. Yeah, we're Fucking doing good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. So, uh, David is uh, is your friend, right? When, yeah. when did you guys meet? Um, I actually met him <laughs> through, um, well, my boyfriend, you know. Yeah. He brought me to shows and things like that, and he told me who uh, Dave was. Okay, cool, yeah. yeah. So, I had a fire pit um, last weekend. Yeah. Um... And it was a lot of fun, and I must say, I was telling everybody, Dave, I, when, when you guys <laughs> got out of the car, right? <laughs> and I was, like, all excited to see my cousin and all, and then uh, I see this guy, and I'm like, I see him strolling down the street looking like somebody from a fucking hair band or something. <laughs> yeah. fucking a, and I'm dude. like, I'm like, dude, oh, my you, God. You look like fucking John Bon Jovi's roadie. <laughs> and <laughs> we knew we were going to have a good time. I know. That's what I said. We I was like, we oh, my God. Time. This is going to be a good fucking barbecue yep. with this guy here. I already <laughs> knew it. But and, yeah. And it was. We, we had a great time. It, was, know, it was fun. It was a fun time. I haven't missed a day since 1987. <laughs> fucking right, dude. <laughs> I um, love that. Yeah. So Dave also Carter behind you. At some point in the show, he's going to be performing some good original music that uh, we've been promising you guys that we're going to uh, have some good music uh, coming, and uh, we have yeah. some today. Also, everybody who is watching, make sure you share this video with all your friends. Like button, hit that shit, and make sure to subscribe. There's please. a big ass red button. Hit that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Hit it right now. It. Hit it right hit fucking it. now. <laughs> share it with, share it with all your enemies too. Get yeah. the general part. Every time, break it to your off family. a piece of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a, if you have a second grade teacher, make sure she gets the, yeah, the link. Everybody, too. yeah. Right. Every, every time you clip that subscription button, an angel gets its wings. So. Yeah. Can everybody make sure to send it to their <laughs> how great, about, great how about, aunt? How about too. a devil gets its horns? There you go. <laughs> Either way, whatever you want to interpret it, fucking subscribe. <laughs> yeah. The fallen angel. All right, let's get into this juicy some bitch. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you guys. Um, um, what do you call? Uh, so me and Carter, we we were uh, we were oh, we were all at the, a UWF <laughs> event yesterday, and yes. um, me and Carter, we had to go out and buy all kinds of HDMI wires, which was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, but uh, we got them now. But on the way, we were on Frankfurt Ave, and um, you know, there was a guy, a kid on a quad, right. He went about 100 miles per hour with a cop right on his ass, right? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> fucking so right. So we're like, holy fucking Philly. Carter. Carter's about to turn off and shit. And I'm like, Carter, uh, there's a whole army of cops still yeah. coming. So yeah. you better back the fuck up. I'm trying to make a left on the wrong street. <laughs> and like, he's like, yo, you can't go yet. And then I see like the cop coming at me. And I'm like, okay, here we go. And he's like, no, no. And here yeah. comes another cop. And yeah. then another cop. And there's like a, three bike cops. Yeah, fleet of cops on and then, bikes. And then more dirt cruisers bikes. after yeah, that. Yeah, dirt How bikes. did we not hear about those last night? I don't know. There was, there was what, about yeah, four, yeah. four, undercover, well, four undercover cop cars. There was uh, so much going on. There was it about happened, four guys happens, on yeah. dirt bikes. Oh, I never seen police officers on dirt bikes. They, they have to be. Oh, yeah, they have them in penny That's pack, pretty dude. cool, yeah. man. In Philly, they have to be now because the fucking kids are riding dirt bikes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this kid did, but number one, he he don't get himself killed the way he was dri- fast. He was well, driving on a fucking quad. That's probably what he did. Oh and shit, the popo uh, yeah. come. <laughs> then Dang. again, when you're getting chased by however many yeah. fucking bad cops, boys, bad boys. Yeah. What you gonna uh, do? Yo, careful with that sound. I might go running. <laughs> it was crazy though. It was uh, it was pretty crazy. And the um, the uh, he's gonna be in a lot shit ton of trouble. Have all them cops after him? He must have did something really yeah, fucked up. He was just up. playing GTA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet he got the shit kicked out of him when yeah. they caught up with him. Yeah, cops don't like chasing people. <laughs> and from what I heard, right. um, you know, but fucking why, lunch break. 
That's actually why I'm glad I grew up like out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in the mic. Because I could literally in the mic closer to the mic, Bridget. I could literally just like dart through a trail, and the cops couldn't fit down there. Yeah. And like, <laughs> See you later, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what do you call this? Chris Rock said. Chris Rock said it uh, on uh, one of his uh, comedy specials. He said, if the police have to come running after you, you're most likely going to get an ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> well, they never did. They, could, they couldn't fit down the trail. So it was like, all right, see ya. <laughs> well, good. Thank God you didn't get your ass whooping that day. Nope, never. But uh, So, Dave, <laughs> real quick, bud. Um, tell us a little about yourself, man. Um, who asked me that? Me. <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. What's Jimmy, what's up, brother? It's real nice to meet you, man. It's real nice to be here. Good shit, man. Thank uh, you. Carter, awesome. You guys, um, it was great. I came here last week, as you said, uh, during the fire party. Bridget, our friend, um, Luna Trip. Uh, you know, great Instagram. <laughs> she's a good. <laughs> she's an awesome chick. She's very artistic and, and my, mm-hmm. ki- my kind of people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she invited me here to come with her, and uh, I started talking to you guys. But... Um, me, myself, right now, I'm all about music, all about the music, all about performing, and uh, I have uh, 21 gigs booked in Wildwood area. This, Fucking right. I'm oh, booked shit. all the way up to October um, with a band called The Locals. Okay. And uh, also, I've been hosting Open Mic Night with Donnie Rocket at Time Out. In Woo! Back- Barrington, and it's getting yeah. better and better. And the, and the thing is, is that that place is closing. Now, where where was this place located? In? Okay, it's on the White Horse Pike, uh-huh. right at two ninety five Route thirty. The White Horse Pike, right there. There's a Wawa there. It's right across the street from the okay. Wawa, and it's an epic spot. And ep- never been Thursday yeah. nights. I do open mic night there, and I brought my real nice mixing board last week, and it sounded. It's, it's nice. I mean, awesome, man. we had trombone play. Yeah. You know, they when's go, the next one? Thursday night. All right. And I mean, Might they have to go out. To they're yeah. getting. I would like to try. How to, far uh, check is that, that from out. here? It's so, it's so close. It's just if you get to two ninety five. It's really not that far. And it's right off of two. I mean, literally, as soon as you get off the exit two ninety five, and then when you're leaving, you just zip right right on. You you don't have to drive through the town. Yeah. You know, I always find it shady it's when someone Wayhorse? says, you All know, right. it's not that far. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. That means it's like <laughs> 35 yeah. plus minutes, right? Because they're not yeah. giving you a time, right? Yeah. If it was that close, be like, that's ah, 10 minutes down the road. It's no big deal. No, anytime yeah. it's ah, it's not that far. I'm 20. in the car for a half hour plus. And, 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 What's it called? It's called Time Out. Time Out. And um, and the building and the building has been there for a very long time. It's been a lot of different names. Well, that sucks. They're closing, man. They're, I mean, it's going to get bulldozed as well. Uh, wow, man. wow. So, so we definitely got to check. So that does that out. mean if we come on Thursday and we do an open mic that we can bring a sledgehammer too and like <laughs> help them take a wall out real quick? When, we can help when, demolish it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope not. I hope not. But um, but but let me just say um the the. Hmm. Bars have always been my lifeblood. Like my bartender has always been my lifeblood. You know what I mean? Okay, that's cool. At certain places that I played regularly, you know, uh, I love it when you, when you walk in your place and you're like, I'm hungry. You know where the kitchen is. You know, you're that. You're your family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and and I never got kicked out of those kind of bars when everyone else and did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you stay open the doors and the sun is out in the morning. Yeah, it's not necessarily like that everywhere you go. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, dude, that was evil when I was out in Nevada. Yeah, and I left a strip club at 7 a.m. <laughs> and that fucking summer or that desert sun mm. in my face. But when uh, it's just that you, was ah. evil. No, you know you're a vampire at that point. Right? <laughs> oh my god, I, I wish I was. I would have preferred going up in dust right at that moment. <laughs> but yeah, the only point I wanted to make was that the staff there. Cheryl, um, she's, she, you know, she, Cheryl they, Hurst. they're working so hard. And Shout it, out to Cheryl, man. The yeah. food is so good. They, they, it, it's just, they're it's gone. been so lovely and it's getting more and more popular. It, if they could raise like half a million dollars, they could save the place. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is there like a GoFundMe we can tag on here or are they just, they just uh, giving up on it? Uh, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll, we'll tag that on later when I find out that information. All right, but. yeah. 
Um, it's so, thirty-one minutes away before. How that. how long That's have you been? At all. How long uh, have you been ho- uh, doing these open mic nights? It's it's drawing in a little bit of a crowd. You were saying, right? You've been doing it for a while. Well, yeah. John, Johnny Rocket started it, I think, around two thousand seventeen, and I I was part of the original lineup. There was four of us, and we all got paid. You know, there was yeah. a drummer. It was Harry Rosa. A jo- a Jota was on keyboard. Uh, it was me on guitar and v- vocals, and Donnie on bass. And we came like every other week, and you know, and it got popular, real popular. Donnie's a very popular guy. Good shit, man. Donnie yeah. Rocket's awesome. Well, without <laughs> Don, without Donnie, it wouldn't be uh-huh. it wouldn't be shit. Because okay. I I hosted an open mic night at Bar Thirteen, and I didn't bring us. I brought like maybe t- two or three people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I hosted years ago in Riverside. I hosted open mic night at the Woodshed, and uh, on Wednesdays, and I was there for like a year and a half, and it got great. Wow, you know, shit, man. I, I was in horn bands and all that. So I like, you know, like you get all kinds of like horns coming out and different. That's cool. You know? Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, I, 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 I would want to cover Sledgehammer with a bunch of horns. Yeah. But but the thing that most people don't realize is that it don't matter. What matters is how many drinks do they buy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, definitely, all the, man. that's all that matters. And who's cleaning up the fucking mess? There's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Not no. I, said the brown cow. Right. <laughs> right. Not you. Nose goes, yeah, bro. Th- there's been plenty of times <laughs> where there's a full bar. And you're thinking, wow, we're doing great, but they didn't. Th- they didn't do great. The only reason yeah. they did any good because that one table in the back that spent, you know, uh, three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, saved their asses. Th- like, th- there's no right. money to be made in, in bars. You don't do it for the money. Right. You know, your money comes from alcohol sales. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, I'm guilty of that. Like, um, being somebody who, when we go to a bar, we have. You know, we'll have a, a case of beer out yep. in the car, and when you go out uh, to have your cigarette, uh, yeah. you yeah. take a couple yeah. free drinks. But yeah. Yeah, you know, I you never I never really thought of it that way, especially yeah. in this time with the COVID yeah. Yeah. and everything else. How exactly. fucked up yeah. the yep. bar scene is. How they're how they're you know a lot of these yeah. places have not closed already on their last yeah. limb. And yeah. Yeah. years ago, bars were, were a gold mine. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it, well, you was. couldn't lose with a bar. You yeah. couldn't. Yeah, they were. They were. They didn't know what to do with all their money. Especially but, bars on the White Horse Pike. You know what yep. I mean? All that that heavy shit. traffic and shit. You know? Yeah. But um, they ain't, so, like, it. They ain't like that no more. Uh, Dave, the um, you how long? How old? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? How long have you been uh <laughs> in this like South Jersey Philly I am, Roxy? I'm right? a pro- well, is I'm that a- way? Is this where you're from? Are you from the East Coast? Yeah, I, I I was born in Willingboro. Okay. Okay, Jersey. Okay, and um, you you you've been playing music for in, a long time. I was born right? in Willingboro in 1971, so that makes me gonna be 50 years old this year. Yeah, dude, I was. Uh, I actually did Never know that. that. Yeah, I did know that. You did tell me that last week, and I love how he worded it. He said, "Uh, yeah, that it's not really my age. That's just how many times." We went around, <laughs> around the, the sun. sun. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking A, man. <laughs> well, Me you know. And no way, look at that. <laughs> uh, people uh, bring uh, other people into your life for a reason. I just, damn right. <laughs> I just said we're talking monkeys on a rock spinning around a fireball in the sky. <laughs> so, Dave, you were born in 71. Did you hit the big 50 yet, or are you uh, August, turning 50? August 30th is my birthday, which makes me... Oh, shit. They tell me I'm a Virgo, but I wonder if the Virgo was really in the sky the night I was born. <laughs> I, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> are you just taking a break that day? <laughs> no, I just... I don't Virgo think Virgo was like, uh, I don't, fuck, I'm going to the bar. You I, feel more <laughs> Leo? You could look it up. No, no, it's just I just don't... Believe that, I, the yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, exactly. but I, I don't really buy into that. But I, I am entertained by all that, you know. Yeah. yeah so, uh, speaking of this music scene, yeah. um, in in uh, you know, Jersey and Philadelphia mm, yes. and yeah. uh, Delaware, shit like that. Yeah. Hell, um, you you've been you've been uh you were on Preston and Steve's show. You said mm-hmm. this year, right? Mm-hmm. What was it? Just like an interview, a call in, or something? Well, last year when we all got locked down, right from the yeah, co- um, COVID. Preston and Steve did a contest uh, called Isolation Idol. It's like American Idol, okay, but, but it was Isolation That's Idol. That's dope. That's cool. And, and you had to do I think it. I vaguely remember that. It's yeah. better than American Idol. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was on it. <laughs> American Idol sucks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. Well, I'm, t- I'm too old for American Idol. I think they're... Fuck that shit. 
They're what? Cu- yeah, yeah. It's fucking nonsense. They do yeah. that? You're 20, not allowed yeah, to. You can't be over 28? a certain age. Oh, wow. Well, so you're not allowed to have nonsense. talent past 28. That's, That's fucked no. up. I did, no. I did audition. There for... is nobody with talent on that show. <laughs> That's not true. They, they, they have talent. There are some, some people. people. Not like well, they go yeah. anywhere. They never go anywhere. But it's, anymore, it's like bullshit. See, no, no. Uh-huh. It's the Chuck Barris um, approach. I lo- Chuck Barris is my hero. You know, the gong show? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. They tried to do a talent show. But they couldn't get any good acts. So Chuck Power said, well, fuck it. it. Let's just do mostly all bad acts with a couple good acts sprinkled yep. in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and that, and it, that's what it was. Yeah. Never um, heard of it. So, but back, let's backtrack to okay. the Preston and the isolation yeah. idol. Okay, so, yeah, so explain that a little bit. What, what? Um, uh, well, I was driving, I, w- I was working, con- I do concrete uh, uh Swimming po- around swimming pools. Okay, cool. During the, in the day, and I've been doing that my whole life, so it's easy for me. And I, I, I'm I'm working with a good company. And uh, but we listened to Preston and Steve on the ride to to the job. Yeah. And we and there was this isolation idol contest they announced. So I, uh, I'm on my phone on the way to the job site. Yeah. I sent them a, a link to one of my YouTube videos of me doing a Chuck Berry song. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, Nick liked it and said, "We want you to be. We want you on the contest." I was like, "Yeah, cool." <laughs> that was super nice. cool, man. And I was setting up. I was just learning how to stream at that time, like, like because you have out of necessity. Like now, like, it's the only way to perform is streaming. You right, know? right. So I have my like old equipment, and I'm just trying to learn how to get my get it to look good and sound good. And it was such a great. You know, opportunity to 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 do that, and I I, I actually pre-recorded my own um, tracks, my own drum tracks and bass tracks, and I and I arranged my song to fit the time limit. They said thirty seconds, but I said how long? And, and me and Nick were talking, uh, you know, text messaging. I got his, now I got oh, Nick, Marissa. Um, their 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 numbers and everything, which is cool. Like, yeah, very cool. You fuck know, what I mean, they know who I am now. Like, so yeah. I'm, I'm like, That's yo, dope. I want to I want to do the MM barbecue really bad. Yeah, fuck it, right? <laughs> 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 can I can I be, be your awesome. roadie for that? <laughs> right? I'll, I'll, I'll help roadies. set your shit up. Yeah. Titties and beer. <laughs> titties and beer. That's what we can offer. Titties. Titties and beer. I want to I wanna, I wanna lick a titty. <laughs> Thank God I ain't queer. I love you. titties and beer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like shit. a titty. Oh, well, like man. A, like a, like so, a. So, <laughs> so, like Rodney Carrington. So, so, the, so I was on there, the fir- and then I passed the first <laughs> round. I did mm-hmm. a, a Wild Horses, I think, like a verse. And a oh, okay, cool. And like I said, I arranged it. It was a t- 110 seconds, I think it was. Oh, <laughs> uh, so like double. No, yeah, wow. but triple. But, but triple he, almost. But yeah. he, he told me that Nick, Nick gave me a heads up beforehand, like, this is. You know, and so I knew exactly what to do. Yeah. And I arranged it just right, like a MIDI track, you know, to play it to. Fucking and, nice. And, and, and then I did the next one was uh, Sim- Simple Man, uh, you know, Skinner. Yeah. Fucking right. That's and, a great song. And, um, but then uh, this second, the final, and it was, I was the finalist. I, I had a really bad episode that morning. I found out my girlfriend had like blocked all all my like good looking friends in my in my Facebook account. Like, where <laughs> 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 fucking bitch! Oh my like, God. Where's all? Where? How come my? Where's all my friends? <laughs> I just I just. just I don't know. I stumbled, <laughs> <laughs> right. I stumbled on my block list. I'm like, how did this happen? Oh man! So I got so mad. I took the dog for a walk, right? <laughs> and as I'm walking the dog, it's raining. I dropped my cell phone somewhere out on the street without knowing it out of the back pocket, and I needed it because it had my music on it, and I was all ready to go. Yeah. Oh, shit. But I lost my fucking phone. Oh, man. (laughs) 20 minutes before I'm supposed to go on the air, and I'm freaking the fuck out. (laughs) So I had to borrow a phone, email Marissa, (laughs) tell her, give her another number because we were doing it a weird way. Yeah, yeah. We were using Facebook um, to do the music part, but then when we were talking on another line, and so I had to tell her, different phones, different numbers, different Yeah, yeah. And in in like the last 10 minutes, and they were so good, they, they, they got it, no problem. Yeah. 
But my, you know, it wasn't a very good. It wasn't way. a good day either. You were all stressed you know. out, and all that shit had just happened too. You know. And, and you can hear it's on my Facebook page, like way back. You can scroll <laughs> back and find it's on there somewhere. But I, I still hand, fucking bitches. I handled it like a like a <laughs> handled handled it like a pro. You know, you would have never known. Yeah. Like well, dude, is. that is that. It's just a badass thing, you know what I no, mean? No, that like, is really cool. Yeah. And then they called me back for another thing called crowd karaoke. They asked me if I wanted to be a crowd a singer. I said, "Hell yeah, I want to be a singer." Fucking hey, man. You know, so it's, it's they, they gave me a big boost. You know, it was yeah, it, it was great. Yeah, I mean, nothing but love to the guys at MMR. My mom uh, yeah, was well, close well. with um, Steve's wife at one point. Uh, we used to do shelter work, and she runs a, a campaign for. But I forget what the name of it is. I feel like a jackass right now, but it's a cat rescue. Okay. And we would do events. He does with talk about that a lot, too. Yeah. Right? Exactly. yeah. We, we've done multiple events with WMMR, like different fundraisers and shit like that. And they're so fucking professional. They're so on point. So nice. Nothing but love for them, dude. Yeah, that's like, super for real, cool, for real. man. Yep, I, my experience nice. as well. I wish I knew what that was like. Oh, and they Being have a professional. They have a case. Of <laughs> 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 they have a case of beer with my name on it. And I, I you know, it's, if they're less, I, I'm coming to get it. So case of beer. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on to it. Don't, don't, don't. President <laughs> Steve, we know you listen to the show. Yeah. yeah. Steve, <laughs> we love you guys. Case of beer. We need duct tape Dave's case <laughs> of beer. Duct tape. That's duct it. tape <laughs> Dave. <laughs> So are you gonna tell the world? So, well, are you gonna tell our uh, last, you know, our last world? Week, uh, Dude, I have a ten thousand dollar contest going on. Who, whoever can tell me how I got the name Duct Tape Dave? Oh shit! So you guys, ever anybody watching? Make sure you uh, comment your guesses by down the, in the YouTube comments. By man. the end of the episode, I'm gonna guess. Yes, it's, uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I already I gotta, know. I gotta know. You know? Oh shit! Yo, that's not fucking fair. I'm not saying. Did you, not did you guess or did he tell you? I got duct tape on my mouth. I can't say. <laughs> Jesus Ooh, is that Christ. a is that a hint? Is that a clue? <laughs> <laughs> Could be, big boy. Just so <laughs> adhesive all over her lips. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Jesus. great name for an album, right Sorry, there. Sorry, <laughs> my, my lips are duct taped. That's what most people think. <laughs> so yeah, I'd love I'd love to find out this answer, man. Yeah. That ten thousand dollar contest. That's fucking. Crazy. Yeah, I didn't say That's what kind of what you know money it is. But still, ten, well, yeah, you did. ten grand. <laughs> ten thousand. It's ten thousand uh, pieces I, of sand. Not necessarily <laughs> U.S. dollars, but <laughs> not necessarily what monopoly money. <laughs> well, whatever it is, in, it's in, be, in David St. James credits. It's gonna be yeah. something cool. So make sure you guys try to guess. Yeah. Ten, you know? no ten thousand is the name of his last album. Actually, guess it. Uh, <laughs> um, you want that shit? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I do make T-shirts. I, I silk screen my own shirts and stuff. And I'm going to get more into merchandising real soon, you know. Cool. And you were talking about your live streaming and, and, and uh, your, you do the Facebook live videos and shit. Now. I have. Like, um, I don't have a studio at the moment. I'm you know, looking for a nice, comfortable spot to set up. Yeah. My next, you know, because when I set up a studio, if you, you know, last summer um, I, I moved into this guy's spot over in Camden. Mm -hmm. And it was the whole second floor of a row home. And I had the master bedroom. You know, strippers used to live. There was a where a stripper, <laughs> you can see where the pole used to be. And oh, shit. The red walls and shit. And like this black. It was really, you know. Cool spot for a studio. And, you know, yeah. and the guy was like, you know, he was a bouncer at all the big go go's. I thought we're going to get along great, me and this guy. And, but he got really annoyed at me real quick. Okay. Um, and it, and it, and it got ugly like and I and I got forced out of there. It was really ugly. Last year was really hard for me. Yeah. Well, you know, to the future, you know but what I mean? But during that time that I was there, I did a lot <laughs> I did a live show every <laughs> <laughs> Every night. What are you two giggling about over there? <laughs> like who? I'm sitting here looking at this screen. I look the up girls? and all I hear is they're cracking the fuck up. That's something. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a very wasn't supposed to be a funny story. You guys are Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's right? fun. <laughs> no, it's absurd. It's a, believe me, it's absurd. It's funny as hell. My if it's if anything, all right. it's, you know. So you want to really know? Yeah. yeah, she yeah. has to pee. <laughs> oh, oh shit! So what? So go, <laughs> go, go pee. pee. Yeah. 
There's a five gallon bucket right. over there. Just gonna squat. Right <laughs> gonna take this out of the video. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but absolutely not. <laughs> nope. This is the highlight. <laughs> no. But the this is the commercial uh, right here. Yeah, <laughs> the point of the story is that um, you know, every night at nine o'clock, I was on the air live, unless I was dead. Or in jail. That was my tagline. Hell yeah. Dude, yeah, you know that's cool. I and, was and, and it was great. You know what I mean? It was, and it, I learned so much from it. And it wasn't perfect. Like, I, I never said it was but it's going to be real. And it's and you can see how they, it got better and better and better. Yeah, yeah. Until I got thrown out of the place. You know? Well, yeah, you're going to uh, have your next spot you're going to set up. You just have to think of it, man. It's going to be way better. You're going to have... Yeah. You're gonna have a uh, cool. You're gonna have a cool spot very soon for all your shit. Yeah. David St. James duct tape. Davey's gonna be back doing his live streams Dude. very soon. Yeah, you know? super duper. Yeah, I was watching one the other day. It's very. You're very. Yeah, he's entertaining, man. Thanks. You are. Well, check you out. Know, you know, check out my Facebook because um, if you go to my Facebook wall, you can scroll down a little bit, and I, I've reposted some of the yeah. ones that I think are because most of them are like. You know, it's not about the content. It was I was just like fucking around, just yeah. You know, making mistakes on air, and people liked it. They liked the mistakes. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was kind of charming, and if I did, it's it, relatable. But the there was one on there, like the latest one I did, and it's pretty. It's it's pretty nice production, I think. You know, very cool, man. Yeah, I'm definitely. You know, I'm gonna tag all your uh, thank you, all your shit down in the down in the description, it. and yeah, everybody make yeah. sure you uh. Go Check like and subscribe yeah. his shit after you're done liking and subscribing our yeah, shit. Yeah, make yeah. sure you well, like I and was, subscribe. I was us. just going to say that because my friends out there who's ever watching, hopefully all my friends are watching, Check these guys out, and especially you know they're oh. in, they're into all the same shit you're into. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. bud. We're in absolutely so everything. <laughs> we're, we're all one big happy loving, fucking yeah. right, disoriented <laughs> family. Yeah, for sure. Right. Dude, so before we get too off the subject of the name duct tape, Dave, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like back to the party of so. I get so intrigued by people that I know are going to be interesting. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like I can read people really well. Uh -huh. When I was like, who's that guy? And I was told his name's Duct Tape Dave. <laughs> you know how fucking I, I was? Dude, I popped. Yeah. I was like, I got to listen to this dude. Yeah. Thank you. Like, yeah. uh, like so straight the fuck up. That's so I, I, when, when did you get started in music? Um, 1977 when Elvis Presley died. Okay. Is that oh, what? Shit. Is that what made you? Is that the final push that like got yeah. you started? Or? Well, I used to like Shauna nah and the Blues Brothers. Okay. Shit, you know, I was like five years old, six years old. My dad liked doo wop music. Okay. And, uh, and my dad liked the Temptations and stuff like that. And I heard what he heard on you know, WIP yeah. radio, you know, all that stuff. The 1970s. Mm -hmm. So born. did you start and playing guitar? Well, at first. When Elvis died in 77, that night, the, all the TV shows were Elvis. They played his 68 comeback special when he was all dressed in black leather, you know? He was in his, you know the one I'm talking about? Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Was, is it like a white um, leather suit or something? It was a, he was in black was leather. Black. It was uh, okay. staging around. It was, they were like banging on guitar cases and he was, and, and just, Elvis was just being, I was like, I said, dad, I was seven years old. I said, dad, I want a guitar. I just knew right right then and there. Was, yeah, there you go, man. And, but then he bought me like a toy guitar. He had fun. Yeah, and, I was like, yeah, yeah. and then another toy guitar. And finally, when I was like eight years old for Christmas, I, I come on a Christmas tree. I had a Epiphone acoustic guitar, you know, and uh, I taught myself very by, nice by listening to Rolling Stones, Hot Rocks. Hell okay. Yeah, man. And I bought the the book that had you know the chord with the little diagrams in it. Plus a Mel Bay you know chord chart book. And uh, I started taking lessons when I was like 12 or something like that, but <laughs> no, mainly I taught myself, you know. Hell yeah, Yeah, man. good shit, man. So do you play any other instruments or are you just yeah, strictly I, guitar? No, I, 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 um, I play drums, bass, keyboards. I play some woodwinds a little bit. Auto-tune helps. I play, I love cello. I, I mean, I'm not a cello player, but I have, I can I can play the cello a little bit. Cool, yeah. man. That's good shit. Yeah, it's That's so much fun. I play a little harmonica. Dude. You know, I sing. I'm you got to dip the tip in a little bit of everything, <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, look who's back. Turn I'm, your mic on. Yeah. I'm back. And plus. Uh, I'm, like, I'm, back, I'm back. I'm back. I'm uh, back. Hey. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Right. There's Tinkerbell. Yeah, I think you had Tinkle too many. Bell. Bridget, <laughs> did you have too many Bud Light oranges or what? Actually, no. That's 
<laughs> my third one. You're pissing like a racehorse, right? No. It's like the third time. I drank a lot of tea and water today. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn, tea's great. The yeah. average woman's bladder holds about Clean 8 to out. 12 fluid ounces. See, you fucking learn something new every day. Whatever, dude. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on, Jim. Um, so, you do... You dabble in everything, but do you prefer playing guitar? Like, or do you consider yourself a guitarist, or do you just consider I mean, yourself a musician? I, I consider myself an entertainer. Fuck it. Okay. Um, okay. Songwriting is a craft that I really, really enjoy. Uh, performing, you know, everything I do is, I think, well, re- you know, I, I think about it, like, intensely. You know, I plan things yeah. out. I try things out. I fail. I, you know, adjust. I, you know, I'm really into the art of entertainment, you know. I love yeah, that. Yeah. That's a fucking great Do you want to play a song for us? I'd love yeah, to. Yeah, do you want to? Love yeah, to, yeah. Let's sure. fucking do it. All right. Do it up. All right, are we, uh, so we just, yeah, just oh yeah, we can just we're go. All set cool, up. Nice. We're, we're ready to go. We're good. Oh shit. David St. James. It's happening, guys. It's happening. It's what happening. Is music. Is this the first time? David St. James. Seriously unimportant? This live music? That it's, unimportant. Orig- that it's okay. live like this. Ori- and original music. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's first original, original music. First original music, guys. David St. James. Yeah. Original music. All right, I'm going to do you a song. Um, yeah, let's do a quick sound check on the guitar. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna turn up on your end a little bit. That's right, pretty. Now, let me hear you. Right, I'll just adjust you as needed. Uh, now this is, you know, I'm not necessarily country or un- anything. I, when I just, I just write whatever kind of what it sounds like to me. So this is a little on the country side. <laughs> What's it called? It's called Here Comes Kelly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Watch out! Here she comes. I'm a guy who likes his fun My disposition's bright I get along with everyone And try to do what's right I play guitar, I sing my song Never start no fight But there's a girl that wrecks my world Like doggone kryptonite Here comes Kelly And there goes my pool that girl is the reason why I'm acting like a fool. Here comes Kelly, and there goes my brain. Something about that girl drives me completely insane. I got like no singing voice right now. <laughs> <laughs> sounds sounds great, awesome. dude. Sounds, sounds fucking great. amazing. Sound good there. All right. A yeah, fussing and a fighting. Well, that's just a sign of a love that's true. If I say it don't, she'll scream, yes it do. It starts at 6 a.m. Don't quit till she go to bed. Sometimes she wakes me up in the middle of the night just to fuck with my head. Here comes Kelly, and there goes my cool. That girl is the reason why I'm acting like a fool. Oh, here comes Kelly. Step to her so softly and so sweetly. I said, Baby, I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you for everything totally and completely. And just when our eyes meet and our hearts start in a We fall apart and break our hearts worse than before. What was I expecting? Ah, oh, here comes Jelly. There goes my cool. That girl is the reason why I'm acting like a fool. Oh, here comes Jelly. There goes my brain. Something about that girl. Me completely insane. Something about that girl I love, like that old cocaine. Woo! Yeah! Fuck yeah! yeah. 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 
fuck? That was great. That, that was, was awful really hook, cool. bro. I didn't know I can get this way, but I think I'm wet. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. That was Holy amazing, shit. Dave. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. Very, and very good. Thank you so much. That is literally our first original song uh, on our show. That, that was, is, that was amazing, man. We're you can keep it going him. if you want. I would we, love to. Do you have another one? You want to do I it have, again? I, I can go for three days. We can start yeah. Yeah, bro. Right. yeah, we can right, call right. him uh, Amazing Dave. Amazing, amazing Dave. Right. Dave. Yeah, let's hear another fucking tune. Hold bro. on, one second. I'm gonna get out of his spotlight. I don't, I don't want to fucking. No, you're good. You look like a groupie. Stay right there, dude. All right, all right. <laughs> Just right whip there. your dick all out, right. bro. Just whip my dick out on <laughs> camera. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just and put it right on his shoulder. <laughs> 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 Yo, could shout be his toe monkey. <laughs> Sh- shout out to so, Ant. Wait, wait. Get, get in the shot, Ant. It's like a rat. What? Oh, yeah. yeah get in the shot. Uh, Fuck are you, right. Yeah, get, get in the shot. Toe monkey. Yo, Dave, real quick. Hand so 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 me the... Uh, oh, thank you, bro. This guy's got style. I like him. <laughs> Fucking right. You heard it here. The bull. The bull. Uh, Dave, real quick. Can you, uh, do you have a quick... When did you write that song? I just wrote that song uh, in 2020. You know, okay. It, you know, a song... It, most of it will come to me right away. But then I have to tweak it a while, you know. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that I can't wait to hear the next ridiculously one. Ridiculously good. It's a great song. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna adjust my tone. I adored it. A little bit. And you didn't play it amongst my trees in the apartment. I want to know what this chick <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I want to know what this chick Kelly looks like, man, because she sounds crazy hot. Yeah. Right. Well, actually, Kelly. It, 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 here comes Kelly as an alliteration. Okay. Comes Kelly. It's two k- 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 sounds. Okay. That's why I chose Kelly. There's no other reason. It's arbitrary. Kelly's a concept. Oh, right. Shit, that sounds <laughs> rock and roll. Let's go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It was. Damn, Bridge, you red line there. It, it was. Sorry. It <laughs> was. <laughs> scared the shit out of turns me. Out here, I blue line. It turns out here comes Ethel doesn't sell a lot, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, doesn't. Uh, quick surprise. I'm going to be the backup singer on this song. Yes. No, no, I'm not. I'm yes, you kidding. are now. You have to. Yeah, you right? promised right? the people. You just said it, you so don't. now you have to do it. If you don't, you're fired. You have to do it. <laughs> do it. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you guys stop firing me? <laughs> Never. Jimmy. Stop getting your fired. Don't. Yeah. Stop getting fired. You're going to have to go through me to get to Jimmy. That's all I got to say. Oh. Well, guess Damn. what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fired. <laughs> hey, you're fired. Hey, remember who's oh, the musician shit. around here? Dave, you got fired too? If Jesus Christ. All right. If you're firing Dave, I'm quitting. Bye. <laughs> You Wait, know I'm what? It's just going to be me and her show Wait, by the end of the night. I quit, too. You know what? what Fuck. Damn, the Harley show. Fuck the system. <laughs> Who's signing my paycheck? Where's that cat? Oh. Nobody. <laughs> so uh, you can't fire me. Yeah, yeah no, you're true. right. You are right. <laughs> it's true. It's let's true. get in. What's the name of this next song you're doing, dude? Okay. Um, the next one is, um, let's see. I'm going to do uh, a little song called Prison in My Mind. Okay. Mm. This seems to be a favorite of a lot of people out there, so. Cool. Yeah, I like it as well. I wrote this song driving down the New Jersey Turnpike. Um, I heard a Bon Jovi come on. No, that's a song that sounded like the Beatles. No, not in heaven. And mm. I just, I shut the radio off. I opened my notebook and I fucking wrote the song. Damn. Good and shit. I hope you pulled over first. No. <laughs> no. no he did I, it while he was driving. I was doing 85 and a 40 <laughs> counter on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a prison in my mind My heart is broke, my eyes are blind Though my body's not confined, Lord I'm in a prison in my mind, yeah I'm locked up in chains of bind From now on I'm doing time Man, man, I'm so, uh, <clears throat> my voice, so I'm sorry Just keep it up, you're doing great, bud I lost a life that once was mine, Lord Yes, I did In your voice no. I'm in a prison in my mind Drums. I can't escape the thought of you Keeps running through my head I cannot break free from you Until the day I'm dead 
can't believe someone I love could treat me so unkind and leave me here to suffer in this prison in my mind. Now, this ain't no state or county jail. <laughs> There ain't no parole, there ain't no bail. <laughs> there ain't no peace that I can find, good Lord. I'm in a prison in my mind. You know that's right. Yes, there's not a thing I can do without a memory of you. Sound like the fucking cops. Just my guts. Open up in there. And bring my spirit down in blue. All my life's been a living hell. Forever alone and cry. And I just sit here in the cell of this prison in my mind. I'm in a prison in my mind. All right. Though I did commit no crime I just picked the wrong girl to be mine mm. And now my heart is down time mm. yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. man! Fuck you, man! Dude, that I got shit, goosebumps, bro. That, that was great. shit, that shit is like Johnny Cash. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was like good. you just can't, that's good. you can't do it. Yeah, that, that was, was good. fucking lit. Dude, I was thinking of some really good like solos put I over know, top of these songs. Were, dude. I would love that. Man. We might have to do after we're done. Dude. We might have to rock out for a little while. Let's do that. Yo, uh, real quick, I gotta get a I drum kit. I poured you out a shot, buddy. Ah, thank you. You a shot. Yeah, why not? Dude, we gotta get a drum kit here. Cheers. Cheers, guys. To David St. James. Thank you, guys. Fucking Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. So seriously now, unimportant? Seriously, would, though, would you un would, would you be able to, do, or do you have another one you can do? Uh, of course I do. Yeah, let's do another one. I'm loving this. It's great. Thank you so much. I, it's an honor and a privilege. Here's a, a, my hit single. It's not too late to say you're sorry. It's not too late. To say that you still care It's not too late To put us back together <laughs> Tell me girl You think it's not too late I sing this song Cause I wanna tell you I still love you so I play my music in the hopes that we're not letting go. I cast away my anger, babe. No, I'm no longer mad. I just want to love again and keep the love we had. And if you're feeling guilty for something you might have done, Let's put all this behind us Start anew and carry on It's not too late to say you're sorry It's not too late to say that you still care It's not too late to put us back And 
so on and so on. <laughs> that was great, man. Fucking A. Dude, um, would you mind? Uh, Dude, I can't get enough. Thank would, you. Would you mind doing a, because uh, we can't really, we're trying not to do covers on here, but uh, I wanted you to do, if we can do something on Facebook, I was just thinking after the yeah. show. Like, can you, would you want to do a song on our, on our uh, Garage John after this? I would love to. All right. Well, let's, um. We'll do that. Hold t- on. T- I want to know a little bit more of his, yeah. his fucking, tell his, us your, the story. about your musical career. Well, t- you didn't tell us the story about that song either. When was that written? Um, I wrote that probably 2008, maybe. Okay, cool, man. I'm not really sure. It's so, awesome. Yeah. But it's not it's not really finished yet. I mean, what kind of is but Yeah, well, uh, Ant, uh, Ant wants to know about your music career. Yeah, I want to know a little bit about your career. Okay, well, uh, um, I was in punk rock bands uh, back in the 80s. I played a lot in Philly. Okay. okay. Club Pizzazz. We opened up for Peggin Babies. Oh, shit. Uh, Scram was a Philly band. They did, like, uh, reggae. They were great. We used to do shows at uh, Frankfurt and Oxford right there. There was a What? It's called really? P- yeah, right there, was a right there on the corner. It's like a, like a where the, the streets come to a point. Okay. And there was a yeah, I know exactly what third, you're talking about. It was on the third floor. Holy shit. Tay Wow. Tay Wow was the sound man. Fucking A. Chinese dude. guy, man. Wow. And was this a venue or was it just like a house? It was, on, it was a, like a big open place and they had shows Fucking in there. Fucking right, dude. That's 500 crazy. kids cool. would show up and it was great. That's cool as shit. And it was before, you know, like City Gardens was you know, like, you know, those skinheads from Trenton yeah. would come down and like hurt people. Yeah. And we kind of fucked shit up, you know? Yeah. But um, the good shows were were really good. And Westchester, we played Westchester Community Center. You know, nice. Punk rock shows there, a, a token entry. Um, Fagazi came around. Fuck yeah. Um, you know, uh, shout out like Chuck Treese. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, Ian, um, McKay, Ian McKay. Um, what was that guy? Um, Ian. You know, what the fuck is his name? From, uh, <laughs> Mike. Mike. What, 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 I'm sorry. What? There's some, no, some really <laughs> Philly guys. Philly, okay. You know, okay. Really cool. You know, the, the scene from mm-hmm. the late 80s. But then I was in like club bands. Yeah. I played. Uh, I was front man for horn bands who were real popular back then. Okay. And I, I was in uh, like a horn band. And then a front, my drummer played for a wedding band. And then I got into wedding bands with really, really high end Jewish. Uh, you know, they've been in business 180 years already. Wow. You know, and I was groomed by these, <laughs> you know, professional, you know, um, and, yeah, and I played with the best musicians you could possibly imagine playing with. And then we had club bands and we did like Delaware Avenue clubs like, uh, you know, the Kokomo Bay, the t- you know, Delaware Avenue used to have clubs. That's Horn, crazy. I never those knew bands that. were popular. There were 4,000 people out there. Yeah. You know, Stuttering John was at one of my shows. He he played one of my guitars, and and you know Louie Louie, we did Ba Ba Booey. Uh, uh, that's uh, funny. But you know there was four thousand little people. chipmunks. It, it, it was crazy back then, and then all the uh, Atlantic City. You know that's just clubs, but the privates was where it was at. That was yeah. in the ballrooms, like at the Written House, at the Wyndham Hill Plaza, at, at uh, um, the Third Street Station, Franklin. I mean, you name it, Society Hill, Sheridan. Uh, the high, a, I mean, I played them all, um, and all yeah, the con- not to mention all the country clubs. Yeah, wow. And yeah, you've been around, brother. Jesus and, Christ. And you're making union rate, you know, good money, hundred bucks an hour, you know, and you and you get to eat prime rib, like that's because the liquor, because you, li- you're not, because the difference <laughs> is, is you're not paying for beer sales. Yeah, yeah, they're, exactly. They're, it's an open bar. They've already paid for the like They're paying for you to show up yeah. and rock their fucking asses off. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's you really... You can't abuse the open bar. You yeah. know, and, and I'm an expert in that field of, like, you know, providing that kind of entertainment for corporate events, that kind of shit. And that's what I want to, like, really focus on in the future, you know, is, is, a, is being, is you know, having, like, a streamlined show come in. You know, it's I know the fire codes. I'm not going to fuck anything up. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you got some pyrotechnics in this moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can you not have pyrotechnics? Well, liquid CO2, you know, at least. You pyro yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I use felt I use felt with the f- with the fan. You know, that shit looks good. Yeah. Stealing candles <laughs> and incense. Or, or no, <laughs> just like projector screens would be cool. You know? Yeah, something like that. That's wild. Well. Yeah, man. I want to get with you guys, man, and just keep like, you know. Oh, well, dude. For we sure. That would be so fucking amazing. Yeah, man. Dude, this was, uh, this was more... 
uh, definitely for me because I, you know, I, I was explaining earlier. I met you the uh, last weekend mm -hmm. um, at my at my uh, party I had, and I didn't, uh, you know, I expected you to be good from watching your Facebook Live yeah. events, but dude. It was fucking amazing, man. Yeah, you're fantastic. I really, uh, I really am happy you you came on. Dude. Well, yeah, well, I agree. Let Great. me ask you a question before I play my next show. We what? we really cooked a good can of beans there. <laughs> <laughs> what style of music do you guys listen to? I can listen to everything, legitimately everything. Okay. Yeah, but I kind of, I'm kind of uh, into everything as well. Um, I guess I, I, I guess my favorite would have to be. Going back to like cl like classic, classic. rock sound. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Classic, classic. Eighties, yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Classic. So I'm, I mean, I'm comfortable playing like. Um, well, uh, we we don't want to do a cover. No covers. Right now, no, we're not um, I wanted to do one after. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. could, he knows what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah sorry, <laughs> sorry, Ed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And for everybody, before everything happens, like, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Definitely like and subscribe. And Dave, you want to bash Anthony in the head with the guitar accidentally? Like yeah. that was so last fine. night, bro. That was <laughs> last night. To the bashing. Night. <laughs> Only the bashing. That was last night. I'm I retired again. That was just a one-time thing. <laughs> Where is Anthony? I can't see him. <laughs> None of your business. Anthony. Oh. All right. All right. And Dave, what is I the name? What is the name of this song you're about to play? The Impossible Dream. Wow. Ooh, all right. He just wrote it like ten minutes ago. I dream the impossible <laughs> dream that I know I can't reach, and I cry but I still keep trying. Lying awake with the thoughts I can't take, and my mind goes astray. My soul keeps flying, holding on tight to an impossible dream. I look to the light, but I know it ain't right. But I must stand and fight the demons I see. Live for the day when my pain goes away, like a child in play. So wild and so free, holding on tight to an impossible dream. I can see a vision so clear in my head, but to reach precision is a miracle at best. Never give up, never had too much luck, but I stuck to my guns and I made it this far. Not trying to say that I know the right way, but every mistake can leave a new scar holding on tight to an impossible dream i can see a vision so clear in my head but to reach decision is a miracle at best never gave up never had too much luck but i stuck to my guns I made it this far Not trying to say that I know the right way But every mistake can leave a new scar Holding on tight to an impossible dream When you're holding on tight to an impossible dream I keep holding on tight to my impossible dream. <laughs> I love yeah. you guys. That, I loved that song. That was Thank fucking God. so beautiful, Ow. man. That was God dope, damn, dude. that was amazing. Thank that you. Was fucking Jesus dope. Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was good. That was very <laughs> Thank wow. you. Jesus Christ. My son. Just oh man! <laughs> Just fucking God. Christ! You know what the difference between me and God is? <laughs> What's what? that? God doesn't think he's me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh. a! <laughs> yes! Ooh, that's it that right like there. That sounds like a note to leave this <laughs> off of, man. Dude, Dude. All right, that's yeah. it. I don't know if we fucking can top. Fucking right. Know, I don't know if we can top that. Listen, um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm just that. kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, no, I, 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 like, I mean, that song, uh, that it, was my favorite you did. Though. If there is a God, I, I thank him for the talent and the ability to be able to sing for you guys and you there guys enjoy you it. There you fucking go, man. Dude. And the ability to tell that joke. I thank you. Every day, every day I thank him. I do. Thanks, wow. Bud, for doing a, a good job. That's, I like you guys. Oh, 
all. And the universe. You got to thank the universe every day for your blessings. You know what? No doubt. Thank you for that, Bridge. You know, what if we are? I think we are the universe. Thank you for that bowel movement. What? (laughs) I said, I think we are the universe. We are. We are. We're we're made up of all the same stuff as the universe. We are. Out in the universe. So what if we are the universe becoming conscious of itself? Right. We are. Wow. Ooh, shit. That is All right, exactly before right. Before we break That's cool as shit. We're going to start breaking forth. That's is why that, a, is that a whole other episode? Before, yeah. Yeah. That's, before we start right. breaking out the DMT, yeah. we got to uh, fucking. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, no. I need drugs for this shit, motherfucker. Yeah, Dave, dude. All right. Where's the shrooms at? Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, hey, hey, hey. So. Uh, right, little, like, I mean, I mean, yes. uh, I think we're going to wrap it up from there. Well, wait. We got to give <laughs> Do you have anything you want to plug before we uh, yeah, plug all we your cut shit. off? Well, any any pages? Plug again, any? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, check me out on Facebook, I guess. Uh, my website is ducttapedave.com. You can do, uh, Google David St. James or Duct Tape Dave. You'll find me. Uh, I'm in a band now called The Locals, and we're playing down Wildwood all summer, so check me oh, out. I'm, I'm oh, definitely going to catch you down there. Yeah. We're going. We're, we're going. Yeah. Yeah. We're at Wildwood. That's we're going. We're, we're doing the Shamrock on the 9th of Relocate April. Relocate this podcast. We're playing <laughs> The Point. We're playing The Rusty Nail. Oh, that's a great band. Where can we see your uh, your list of all your stuff online of where you're going? Where's uh, your calendar? Yeah, good question. I'm going to get to, uh, <laughs> I gotta well, I fire my secretary. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, I'm also gonna plug. Uh, I know your Instagram is uh, at uh, Duct Tape Dave, That's, right? Yeah, um, Duct Tape Dave. Thank you. I'm gonna plug your YouTube in the description. Uh, you know, thank definitely you. go down there. Thank fucking you. follow, subscribe, and like all of his yeah. shit. Thank you. Like Harley said earlier, after you're done liking our and subscribing <laughs> and <laughs> sharing you our said, shit. You That's, said right. That. That's right. You sound like such yeah. an yeah. asshole. I, 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 it's I, I, be a I have one more thing that we forgot to do <laughs> that we should do before we call it quits. A pick oh, no. Oh. So Anthony, do I. Anthony. Yes, Anthony, I got it. Wait, hold Anthony, on. We're thinking the same thing. Don't Anthony, say anything. Anthony. Don't say anything. Go ahead. You got an LSD story you want to tell? That's not what I was no. thinking. No. Oh, That's not what I was thinking. Anthony, what's today's date? Yep. Today's date. You didn't do it again. You never did it. What is it? 21st. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Significant. He's got I was going to say, you forgot in the last like, 12 yeah, LSD exactly. stories, bro. No, <laughs> tell the date, asshole. The 21st. Yeah. You were so all about it in the beginning. 21st. I have to tell the date. Yeah, but, <laughs> but then I forgot about it. All right, and whatever. Just and cut Anthony off right now. Back. And back. <laughs> I said it. And you're a scumbag. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a quick LSD story you want to tell? Uh, I could. Go ahead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> P.S. P.S. What was that? Uh, writing a letter. <laughs> what was that? That was, that um, was my, my yeah, son. What was, was it? What would show? Uh, oh, yeah. X-Files. 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 Okay, so here we go. You're going to play, play, you're gonna play during the LSD Let's story. Let's go. It's part of it. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, shit. X-Files. You had this planned. No, well, this is the no. this is the story. If you hear. Rock and roll is never planned. <laughs> oh my God, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> so um, when I uh, um, early mid nineties, uh, ninety three, probably ninety four, <laughs> I was living in Southwest Philly, University City, Woodland Avenue, and it was great. And there was acid around, and I loved acid. I tripped every day. And then uh, I had a nice, uh, you know, recording system in my little room there, and I can just roll cassette all day long, just record everything that happened in the room. And I was tripping face one day, and then I came up with this. It was like this. <laughs> yes, dude. This and it great. went like this. At the low level. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he would break out Lola. You can hear. And like I did this whole it's album. Even better. Here. I can't really sing tonight. No. Dude, you got this. And then um, better than the rest of us. So, Should have got him a couple. Water. So uh, it was. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I can't. I can't <laughs> recreate it. Like it was. And it was like. Here. And the chorus went. Like, so pretty it was the most beautiful thing you ever heard in your fucking life <laughs> that's fucking awesome and then so but but nobody ever heard it because it was so deep i lived across the street from a cemetery and i was tripping every day i was scared i was scared to play for anybody because it was that deep i thought it might damage somebody 
But my landlord, man, I owed him like 1600 bucks, and he came in and sat on my bed. That's <laughs> 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 fucking amazing. Oh, my God. And I played it for him. <laughs> he played it for I him. I played it on the tape, you know. Did. Yeah. <laughs> because it was, and then there was lots of songs that went with it. But anyway, he, I said, what do you think? And he sat on my bed, and he went. Where's my fucking money? <laughs> 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 no, I gave him my bass for that. <laughs> Damn. My Tobias. There it is. <laughs> but he said, I think it's beautiful, he said. And I was like, really? And I knew I was, it's called Windows of Madness. It's a whole fucking album I wrote tripping. Dude, I, wh- I need to get We're my hands on this album. Wow. I know, I got to re- rewrite it. You, um, Carter's going to produce it. And fucking right, dude. Yeah. I can't wait till yeah. I fucking get my hands on that thing. Yeah, man. Well, you're going to you're gonna help me out with it, too. Right? Uh, fucking hey, dude. I've been, pl- re- I've been playing drums forever. Because the originals, the originals have been destroyed. Let's do it. Let's do some acid and write some music. Yes. Yeah. Right. Fucking God. right. Well, every <laughs> we need concrete walls and a steel door, and I'm yep. good. I'll just work the controls. <laughs> Dave, listen. I'm running All away. Right. All right, right. Jimmy. Dave. Love you, brother. Man. Love you too, man. And thank you so much for being on. Man, Anytime, uh, man. it was Anytime. it was a pleasure. It, it, it was, was an honor. It thank was, you. It was. Thank you. And uh, I think okay, we're wrapping dude. this shit up tonight. Uh, thank you guys. Everybody. Bye, guys. Peace out. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Man, oh my god. Awesome. That's how I was supposed to sound. Oh man, I wanted to be hot to use more, man. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah.